it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? <laughs> today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right. We got a cool cut subject for ourselves today. So let's go ahead and dive right on into it. What is our cool topic for today? Our cool topic for today is selling. Uh, okay. If you if you're tired of selling, stop selling. What do you say? I said selling. If you're tired of selling, stop selling. Now you're probably looking at this going, what the hell is this guy talking about? Well, I'm going to tell you what, guys. I've been in sales a long time. And a lot of times when you're in sales, you can sell yourself right out of an opportunity, right out of a sell. <laughs> and I'm not going to complain, but I've done it before. So what I like to do on this platform is I like to share the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all, and all the things that as salespeople we go through on a daily basis. Like I said, a lot of these uh, great people are out here talking about how everything is just perfect in the world of sales. Well, it is, but it's also complicated, tough, hard, and more than that, all of the above and more. And our simple job today is just to have a basic conversation about selling. If you're tired of selling, stop selling. And see, here's the thing. You know, when I first got into sales, it's like you don't know the basics and the fundamentals. You haven't been online. You haven't been doing a lot of research about how to sell. You probably don't have an inkling, um, you know, how to ask some basic questions. But, you know, when you're out here looking for information about how to be a more successful salesperson, I hope you'll get go ahead and subscribe because I literally have hundreds and hundreds of videos on all topics that got to do with selling. Also, you know, my podcast, I'm doing podcasts. So when you're hearing both of these, if I say squirrel, don't go look for it, squirrel. <laughs> so, cause like I said, we're doing podcasts now too. And our topic for today is selling. If you're tired of selling, stop selling. And what do I mean by that? You know, first off, selling's tough enough. And we go through some good days, some great days. And some days, boy, we be selling everything, going thing, and we can't stop selling. And then sometimes things happen. Companies uh, go out of business. As prices go up. Prices change. Products are eliminated with new technology. Things happen, and you as a salesperson have to, to kind of like be able to be pliable, or be a, a green person where you're green and growing. And if you're out there trying to sell stuff and you find yourself running into a brick wall, maybe something's not right and you just feel uncomfortable or maybe you're brand new and you don't know really what to do, I would give you this one suggestion. Don't sell. Don't do it. Have a selling conversation. What does that mean? That means you need to be able to have a conversation where it, hopefully you're talking to someone who can either afford what you're trying to sell, a person who is has the means and the wares to be able to afford it, and if they want it, okay? And if you have a lead system and so forth, it's really nice because on occasion you may get one of those, <laughs> those leads that actually works. And I love leads because at least it puts you in a vicinity where people may have touched something online and it gives you the capability to talk to them. And, and if you catch them at the right time, uh, it's a numbers game. You will have the opportunity maybe to give them your full presentation, okay? And it don't take much time, guys, because you got to knock it out of the park. Love the ones you're with when you have customers because trying to find them sometimes can be kind of difficult. And a lot of people quit selling because things don't seem to always work out right. Or maybe at that particular time, they were selling last week for months and they couldn't sell nothing or you're a brand new salesperson and you're don't you see all these other people selling stuff and you're hitting it once in a while you're maybe getting a, a couple of good sales three or four a week and you know you're you're doing okay but you're not where you want to be and so you're thinking about you know giving up selling don't don't give up on selling stop selling so what I mean by that is when you talk to a person, stop looking at them as though they are a dollar bill. For a long time, when I first got into sales, boy, I used to look at everybody as a dollar bill. But old Gary Lee had to learn 
that, you know, people are people and people, they buy from people they feel comfortable with. At least generally they do. You know, you may get a slick willy once in a while who may take advantage of somebody, but that ain't being a real salesperson. And being a re real salesperson means that you need to learn how to overcome objections. You need to learn the fundamentals of your products. You need to know the, uh, the, the, the positives and the negatives, how they can benefit fit the customer and I'm just going to tell you guys selling is not like hey you need to go ahead and get this we got this we're going to we just push your pressure 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 that ain't it the key to success in this regard is stop selling just talk to people just have a conversation with them think about it like maybe they're your mom or dad or your friend you know they're wanting to buy something if, if you're nice enough to be able to put it in a, in a way where they can see themselves, hopefully with financing, or, or you can help them see themselves owning the product by painting pictures of the customer seeing themselves owning the merchandise. And see, you can be in any platform. You can be over the phone. You can be door to door. You can be business to business. You can be working in a shopping center. You can be working in a retail establishment. And this is important, guys. When customers see a, a salesperson who's maybe over the top, now I ain't saying over the top like old Gary Lee, because, you know, I have a lot of fun, but I do know how to talk with people. When people come into my stores, I'll generally say, hey, so good to see you guys. Welcome. We're so glad that you took the time to come in. And they'll say, oh, I'm just looking. Well, that's okay. I know that. Most of our customers, they're looking for some help if when they need it. And my simple job is, let me just show you this. What what would you come in here for today? What were you thinking about investing in? Or have you already been online and you've seen some things that, that at our stores that may be beneficial to you? This could be anywhere, guys. And then you look them in the eye and see what, and then you say, well, this is what we offer. We've got a sale, let's say furniture, for instance. We got a sale going on today and you got six months, same as cash. So if you're a cash type person, we can go ahead and take that cash or you can fund it and get it for six months and then pay it off within six months. And it's like, you know, you're paying cash, but when it's easier for you, we just make it easier so you can go ahead and invest in that product. You know, What's the, the selling and stop selling? Stop selling, man, because people feel pressured. They, they've they got this back thing from when they were growing up. Mama said, don't sign no contract, so don't tell them you're going to sign a contract. Say, initial this document. I need for you, for us to go forward, to go ahead and autograph it right here. Selling means you're, you're, you're putting on a lot of oomph. You're, you're maybe overselling. I've done that before. I've like had the sale and then talked myself out of a sale because see what I didn't do was once the person said, okay, I should have just transitioned and said, oh, wonderful. And then kept writing it up and then got off the subject and start talking about something else. Okay. The key to success in selling is you're not selling. You're having a selling conversation. You're finding out first off if they can afford it. You're also finding out if if they can if they can afford it. When do they need it? Uh, uh, why do they need it? You want to know all the basics and the fundamentals, so that way you can use their own words as ammunition to offer services and why they should go ahead and purchase and purchase it today. It ain't selling. Selling to me. I mean, I love selling. We, we are selling. Okay. Maybe I should say it more like this. You need to stop overselling. If you have this thing called, you know, uh, it's a salesman's breath, commission breath, that makes you look very weak as a salesperson because it looks like you're desperate. If you come across as a desperate salesperson, people are more inclined to go, you know, I, I, I don't think so. I'll think about it maybe down the road. You know, maybe I might get it. And see, what happens is, is you may have lost an, uh, an easy opportunity. And a lot of times this happens because maybe we have a couple of days of not making any sales. Maybe we, we, we're, we're doing really, really great this week and then next week and the next week we have a slow week and, we, and our confidence gets kind of messed up. I told you on this platform, you would hear about things that we really go through as salesperson. 
you know, we have issues, you know, we got the, we just like everybody else, the only difference is, is, you know, we don't get a regular paycheck normally every week, we work on this magic thing called commission, and based on our performance, we get paid, and a lot of times we get paid pretty, pretty doggone good, selling if you're, in, stop selling, if you're, if you're not happy with what you're doing, it could be the career of the company or the product that you're selling. It could be. You know, like I said, I've worked with some companies that were in business for a long period of time, and I worked for them for a long time, but they they, they went out of business. But see, old Gary Lee, because I'm a, a salesperson, and I learned the fundamentals, I learned how to overcome objections, I, and I ain't perfect, guys, because I still lose sales sometimes, but I've gotten my confidence to a point where, you know, if they have an inkling, or if they need something, if they want something that we can offer, I mean, I'm just going to come across as like, hey, listen, you know, um, I'm not here to say anything. I'm here to give you some basic information so that way you as a, as a person who's been looking at this can make an informed decision. Okay, an informed decision is not selling. An informed, it is, I, guess, I keep saying don't sell, but we're salespeople, so we do sell. But we need to learn how to have a conversation where we can, you know, m activate all those things in a person, their desires, their wants, their needs. People, they a lot of times they want stuff and they'll buy it, but they don't really need it. And then sometimes the stuff that they need, they won't buy it. So it's kind of strange because it's like you have to hit people with their hot buttons. You gotta hit them with good questions. You gotta have great questions, guys. You gotta look at your product. What's unique about my product that nobody else has? Even if you've got competitors, there's something different about your product. It can be so minuscule, but it makes a difference. So you should be able to sell it. You know, I sell insurance and I sell uh, real estate. And sometimes these products are very expensive. And customers, they go, oh, crap, I don't know. Well, I was just thinking about it. Maybe I can get it cheaper somewhere else. Well, if they haven't found the value. Here's the thing, guys. Until a customer sees and perceives the value in their future owning something, it's just like, you know, you're just wasting time. Again, the key to success is you got to ask for the order. Talk to them. Have a wonderful conversation. Find out what it's going to do for their life, the products and services that we offer. How's it going to help them? If they buy a new car or truck, they're going to need oil changes. They're going to need maintenance done on it. They're going to need service work done on it. If you buy a tractor or car, any kind of product, you're going to have extended warranties, maintenance agreements, service agreements, and all these things that you can add on and make your sales even better. Again, selling, I don't, I, I still sell but I don't sell, I talk, I have a conversation, I share information, I ask for the order. Especially if they have an inkling, they may have a, a will or a way or a perceived value. I can help them buy stuff, I can help them get stuff, and I don't like to pressure people anymore. Like I said, um, you know, I, there's one thing I've learned is people sometimes will buy from you and then cancel the order the same day or that evening only because you were too salesy, you were too pushy, you were pressuring them and they didn't feel as though, you know, maybe that was the best deal for them. Okay, and our topic for today is selling. If you're tired of selling, stop selling. Stop it. Just relax a little bit. Go back to your management. Talk to some mentors, some people who can talk to you about, you know, your feelings, what you're dealing with. On this platform, that's what we do. We share feelings about really what's going on. Okay, give me a thumbs up, share my videos, guys, and please subscribe. You know, I've got literally, i got six other channels also, guys, and a cool one that you might want to check out because I have all these voices in my head. Okay, it's a little bit weird, is to go, you know, to my uh, comedy radio with Gary Lee Stanley. Okay, check that out on uh, YouTube and there are other platforms like I'm starting to use because I'm getting, I'm starting to do what they call podcasts. I want to talk to more than just who I'm talking to. I'm writing a book. I've got all these things that I want to put out there to help people, to help people to be better salespeople, maybe help people to become a better communicator, help people who are not salespeople. Maybe they've got issues with their lives and they can listen to 
through the videos and say, you know, I could probably use that to help me in my own business, my own career, you know, my own opportunities. And my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your sales guy. And today we've had a very simple conversation. If you're tired of selling, stop selling. Now, remember this one thing. We're always going to be called salespersons, but you know what? The ones that do really good, they don't even, you can't even tell they're selling. All they're doing is relaying information, listening to the customers, taking their information and using it and helping them make an uninformed decision. So stop selling. Go out there and sell something. But if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. And today we just had a wonderful conversation about if you're tired of selling, stop selling okay <laughs> i know it sounds weird guys but when you have and you learn how to have the selling conversation yeah i ain't gonna say you're gonna sell everybody you'll probably sell a whole lot more once you learn that people are in a numbers game and you treat people with kindness respect ask for referrals and if they and if they don't buy nothing, don't be disrespectful be kind and concerned and just and, and don't get that that's that salesman's breath where you're desperate it shows it really does and my simple job today is say you can do this go out there and sell something but don't forget to ask for the order and remember having a selling conversation means you're not selling anymore 